So emergency preservation and resuscitation, or EPR, is a novel approach that we're working on to try to save trauma patients who bled so much that the heart has stopped. We know that these patients have a less than 1 in 20 chance of living with all the stuff that we do for them now. The idea of EPR is that we rapidly cool them down, particularly the heart and the brain, to preserve the whole body and specifically those organs uh, to buy time for the surgeon to stop bleeding. Because basically with, with trauma, regular CPR doesn't work. If there's no blood in the circulation, you can't just pump on the chest. So we need a novel approach like this. With trauma patients who have a cardiac arrest, what we normally do is we put in a breathing tube to help them breathe, we put in big IVs, we give them blood and other fluids, and we also open the left side of the chest. We do that so that we can directly squeeze the heart to get better blood flow. Uh, we also can clamp the aorta so that whatever blood flow there is is going to the brain and to the heart. Uh, and we also hope that we can find something that we can fix. So when that doesn't work, what we will do with the CPR study is put a large tube, we call it a cannula, uh, directly into the aorta and basically pump a large amount of ice cold saline solution, which is just a salt water solution that we use all the time, uh, into the body to cool from the inside, cool the brain, cool the heart, and then the rest of the body. The problem uh, when we don't have enough blood flow or oxygen getting into tissues is that the tissues need that for energy and that energy is going to run out real quickly. The idea of hypothermia in this situation is that we can decrease the need for oxygen of the cells in the body, the organs in the body. And if they don't need as much oxygen for a period of time, that buys us time to try to stop the bleeding and then we can give them more blood and get the blood flowing again. Uh, but at least we've made sure that during that time, the cells and the organs are still okay. We've shown this in a number of large animal studies, but we're just starting the clinical trial here in Baltimore, hopefully soon, uh, to, to try this out in patients. Nobody's done this in patients yet. This could be huge. Uh, right now, we have a lot of patients who suffer trauma that have a cardiac arrest like this, and we can't save them. So this could open up new doors to try and save people that are dying right now. And, and the, the frustrating thing for us is oftentimes there are normal healthy people that just suddenly had major trauma, whether it's a gunshot wound, stab wound, uh, down the road maybe we'll do this also for car accidents and other types of trauma, uh, and we could save a lot of people that we currently can't.